Good morning, good morning, people of God. Welcome to morning worship here at Rising Star Baptist Church. I am Bob Dabney, and I will be reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up the children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. Ah, oh, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger and are gone away backwards. Why should we be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the soles of your feet unto the head, there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither have they been bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate and overthrown by strangers. And the daughters of Zion is left at as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except the Lord of hosts had let unto us a very small remnant, we should be, or should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers. O Sodom, Give ear unto the law of God, ye people of Gomorrah. Let us pray. Father God, we bow before you this morning. We come in praise and thanksgiving. We worship you, Lord, and we just say thank you. Thank you for things being as well as they are. Thank you for still hearing our prayers anyway, Lord. In spite of our sins and transgressions, you are still there. You are still here with us. We can still call upon you to help us. And we can still repent. Lord, you're always there. Your arms are open wide. You tell us to come. Come as you are, but come. Come soon. Come. Lord, we need you. Our, our children need you. Our nation needs you. Lord, our families need you. Lord, we've gone away backwards. Lord, we just ask your help. We cry out to you now. We cry out for a new beginning, Lord. We need a revival. We need a revival in our land. We need a revival in our cities. We need a revival in our homes with our families. We need to turn back to you, Lord. We need to consider what your word says. We need to consider the truth rather than always considering what we feel. Lord, we have to answer to you. You are God. You are God alone. You answer to no one. But we all must answer to you. We all must bow to you, Lord. And Lord, we need you. And Lord, we do thank you for the remnant, for the few that are listening, for the few that are paying attention, to the few leaders that are still preaching sound doctrine, Lord, we just say thank you for them. Embolden them, Lord. Let them continue telling the truth regardless of who's listening. Let us stand for the truth, Lord. Let us be your people, your sounding board. Let us tell it like it is. Let us still proclaim Jesus Christ is the only God 
And the only truth, the only way there is, Lord, all other ways lead to destruction. But your way leads to eternal life, Lord. We thank you. We are your people. We love you. And we just need you to embolden us to stand before those who don't know you, Lord. Stand against those who would deny you. Lord, help us to stand. Help us to give an account. Help us to be honorable. Help us to be truthful. And help us to look to you. And we do say thank you, Lord, that you're still with us. You're right here with us. You're delivering us. We know you're going to give us the answer to this pandemic. But Lord, we need you to turn us back. Back to the truth. Back to your word. Back to your promises, Lord. And we will be careful to give you all the praise and the glory that you deserve, Lord. But we just say thank you for continuing with us and continuing in healing. We ask for healing for all those that are sick and shut in, all the brokenhearted. We ask for comfort for those that mourn, Lord. We ask for our children, Lord, our young people. We ask for peace and unity in our divided country, Lord. We just ask that you would restore us. Restore us to tranquility. Restore us to honesty. And restore us to your truth, Lord. And we will give you all the honor, glory, and praise you deserve. In Jesus' name I pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen.